the 1960s, a time of change and extraordinary technological advancement. The world watched as the United States and the Soviet Union were locked in a fierce competition. It was the space race. Both nations sought to prove their dominance beyond Earth. At the heart of this race was the Apollo program. This ambitious endeavor aimed to fulfill President John F. Kennedy's daring challenge, landing a man on the moon before the decade's end. The Apollo program was a testament to human ingenuity, pushing the boundaries of known science and engineering. Apollo 1, initially designated AS-204, was planned as the first manned mission of this grand endeavor. The mission aimed to test the Apollo command and service modules in Earth orbit. The crew selected for this historic mission embodied the best of America's astronaut corps. Veteran astronaut Virgil Gus Grissom commanded the mission. Joining him were Edward White II, the first American to walk in space, and Roger Chaffee, a skilled pilot. Together, they formed a formidable team. Excitement for the mission was palpable. The command module was designed to be the most advanced spacecraft of its time. Engineers worked tirelessly to ensure every component was perfect. The mission patch symbolized the crew's dedication and the nation's hopes. Public anticipation for the Apollo program reached new heights as the launch date approached. January 27, 1967, dawned like any other day at Cape Kennedy, Florida. The Apollo 1 crew prepared for a routine pre-launch test. Strapped into their seats within the command module atop the mighty Saturn IB rocket, the astronauts went through the simulated countdown. The command module was filled with the hum of equipment and the voices of astronauts communicating with ground control. Safety checks were routine, but the pure oxygen environment posed a hidden danger. The highly flammable nylon netting and Velcro used inside the cabin were standard, but risky choices. The confined space of the command module left little room for error. Their desperate cries for help, captured in the chilling audio recordings, were quickly cut short. The ground crew watched in horror as the situation unfolded on their monitors. Frantic efforts to open the complex hatch and reach the crew proved futile. The world watched in stunned disbelief as the news of the Apollo 1 disaster spread. The tragic loss of Grissom, White, and Chaffee reverberated through the nation. These astronauts were not just test pilots, they were celebrated national icons. They had boldly ventured to expand the frontiers of space exploration. Their images graced the covers of prominent magazines. Their voices, filled with excitement, brought the marvels of space into homes nationwide. Now, those voices were silenced. Their aspirations abruptly ended. President Lyndon B. Johnson, with a heavy heart, spoke to the grieving nation. He honored the immense courage of the fallen astronauts. He assured the public of a comprehensive investigation into the tragic incident. Across the country, Flags were lowered to half-mast. Schools observed moments of silence in their memory. The Apollo program, once a beacon of hope and progress, now faced a somber reality. The launch pad at Cape Kennedy, once a beacon of ambition and technological prowess, now stood as a stark monument to the unforgiving nature of space exploration. The charred remains of the Apollo 1 command module were carefully removed and transported to a secure facility for analysis. Every piece of debris, every scorch mark, held a clue to the chain of events that led to the disaster. A sense of profound loss pervaded the atmosphere at NASA. Engineers and technicians, their faces etched with grief, walked the halls with heavy steps. These were not just colleagues they had lost, they were friends mentors and comrades united by a shared dream. Yet, amidst the grief, there was a steely resolve to learn from the tragedy. The investigation team worked tirelessly, piecing together the evidence to understand what went wrong. This tragedy led to a comprehensive review of safety protocols, 
ensuring such an incident would never happen again. NASA's commitment to future missions grew stronger, driven by the desire to honor the memory of the fallen astronauts. In the aftermath of the fire, NASA established a review board with unprecedented authority. This board was composed of leading experts from a wide array of scientific fields. Their mission was clear but challenging, identify the root cause of the Apollo 1 fire. They vowed to leave no stone unturned in their quest for answers. The investigation was designed to be meticulous, exhaustive, and unyielding. The board sifted through extensive data analyzed telemetry, and scrutinized countless photographs. They meticulously examined the charred remains of the command module, piece by piece. The pure oxygen environment inside the capsule was quickly identified as a critical factor. Interviews with engineers and technicians highlighted the intense pressure to meet deadlines. This pressure often led to the compromise of essential safety protocols. Post-investigation, NASA aimed to instill a pervasive culture of safety throughout the organization. The investigation into the Apollo 1 fire was both exhaustive and revealing. Engineers meticulously examined the charred remains of the command module. Interim findings pointed to a series of critical oversights. Vulnerabilities in the electrical system and the high-pressure pure oxygen environment were major concerns. Internal memos revealed lapses in safety protocols. The rapid development pressures of the Apollo program were evident. Engineers and astronauts had voiced safety concerns that went unheeded. The Apollo 1 fire marked a turning point for NASA. In its aftermath, rigorous safety measures were implemented. NASA's commitment to astronaut safety was reaffirmed. The legacy of Apollo 1 shaped the future of space exploration, ensuring that such a tragedy would never happen again. In the wake of the Apollo 1 fire, NASA's response was both swift and thorough. They introduced stringent safety protocols and procedures. New materials were rigorously tested for fire resistance. Emergency drills became a critical part of astronaut training. The spacecraft's atmosphere control systems were completely overhauled. Leadership placed a renewed emphasis on safety culture. A dedicated safety team was established to conduct regular inspections. Collaboration among engineers was encouraged to find innovative safety solutions. Advanced safety training programs were developed for all personnel. Subsequent Apollo missions incorporated these enhanced safety measures. The legacy of Grissom, White, and Chaffee inspired a commitment to never compromise on safety again. The Apollo 1 tragedy was a pivotal moment in the history of space exploration. The loss of three brave astronauts, the intense scrutiny, and the monumental challenges ahead could have halted the Apollo program. However, the determination to innovate and the relentless pursuit of knowledge drove the program forward. The Apollo program underwent significant redesigns, incorporating new safety measures and technological advancements. The lessons from Apollo 1 led to the development of rigorous safety protocols and enhanced astronaut training. These changes fostered a culture of collaboration and resilience within NASA, ensuring the success of future missions. The sacrifices of Grissom, White, and Chaffee were honored through the program's milestones, culminating in the moon landing. Apollo 1's legacy is a testament to the courage and perseverance of those who push the boundaries of human potential. The aftermath of the Apollo 1 fire saw NASA embark on a mission of unprecedented scope. The agency, determined to honor the sacrifice of Grissom, White, and Chaffee, undertook a complete overhaul of its safety protocols and procedures. Every aspect of mission planning, spacecraft design, and crew training was re-evaluated with a newfound emphasis on safety. One of the most significant changes was the creation of a dedicated Office of Safety. This new entity, reporting directly to the NASA Administrator, was tasked with overseeing all aspects of crew safety. It had the authority to halt any mission deemed unsafe 
regardless of schedule or budgetary constraints. The design of the Apollo spacecraft itself underwent a radical transformation. The hatch, which had trapped the Apollo 1 crew, was completely redesigned. The new hatch opened outward, allowing for a swift escape in case of an emergency. Additionally, new fire-resistant materials were incorporated into the spacecraft, and stringent safety standards were established to prevent future tragedies. Regular safety drills and emergency procedure practices became mandatory for all crew members, ensuring they were prepared for any situation. Recognizing that any single point of failure could have catastrophic consequences, NASA embraced the concept of redundancy in its spacecraft design. Critical systems were duplicated or even triplicated, ensuring that the capsule could withstand multiple failures and still bring the crew home safely. Every component, from the smallest wire to the largest engine, underwent rigorous testing. NASA built specialized facilities to simulate the extreme conditions of space, subjecting spacecraft components to extreme temperatures, pressures, and vibrations. These tests helped identify and eliminate potential points of failure before they could endanger a mission. The use of flammable materials within the spacecraft was strictly limited. The highly flammable nylon netting and Velcro were replaced with fire-resistant alternatives. The pure oxygen atmosphere was replaced with a nitrogen-oxygen mix similar to Earth's atmosphere. Simulated launch sequences were conducted to test the effectiveness of these redundancies in real-time scenarios. Telemetry data was meticulously monitored to ensure all systems performed as expected under stress conditions. Continuous improvements were made based on test results, ensuring the highest level of safety and reliability for the mission. Beyond the technical improvements, NASA recognized the need for a fundamental shift in its internal culture. The agency, once characterized by a hierarchical structure and a pressure cooker environment, embraced a more open and collaborative approach. Communication, both within NASA and with its contractors, became a top priority. Engineers and technicians were encouraged to voice their concerns without fear of reprisal. A system of anonymous reporting was established allowing anyone to flag potential safety issues without jeopardizing their careers. New training programs were introduced, emphasizing teamwork and communication skills. The changes implemented by NASA in the wake of the Apollo 1 fire were not merely cosmetic. They represented a profound shift in the agency's approach to safety. Leadership also began holding regular town hall meetings to discuss safety and communication openly. The Apollo 1 tragedy stands as a stark reminder of the inherent risks of space exploration. It serves as a solemn testament to the bravery of those who dare to push the boundaries of human endeavor. Gus Grissom, Ed White, and Roger Chaffee paid the ultimate price for their dedication to the pursuit of knowledge. Their loss sent shockwaves across the globe, casting a long shadow over the burgeoning space race. The fire that claimed their lives was a catalyst for change, igniting a rigorous overhaul of NASA's safety protocols. The investigation exposed systemic issues within NASA, revealing a culture where the pressure to succeed sometimes overshadowed crucial safety concerns. The changes implemented in the wake of Apollo 1 were comprehensive and far-reaching, impacting every facet of mission planning, spacecraft design, and crew training. Safety became the paramount objective, woven into the very fabric of the organization. The lessons learned from Apollo 1 paved the way for future triumphs, culminating in the historic Apollo 11 moon landing. Section 2. Beyond the Horizon The legacy of Apollo 1 extends far beyond the immediate aftermath of the tragedy. It led to a complete overhaul of spacecraft design, emphasizing crew safety and reliability. This tragedy also fostered unprecedented international collaboration in space exploration. Memorials and tributes to the Apollo 1 crew 
became symbols of resilience and dedication. NASA's renewed focus on mission success and risk management became a cornerstone of future missions. The influence of Apollo 1 is evident in modern space missions, where safety protocols are paramount. The tragedy underscored NASA's commitment to pushing the boundaries of space exploration. Innovations and advancements in space technology today are a testament to the lessons learned from Apollo 1. Section 3. The Undying Flame The Apollo 1 tragedy is a stark reminder of the inherent risks in space exploration. It underscores the importance of rigorous safety protocols and continuous learning. Despite the setbacks, the human spirit's drive for discovery remains unyielding. The fire that claimed Apollo 1's crew ignited a renewed commitment to safety. This tragedy led to significant advancements in spacecraft design and emergency procedures. The lessons learned from Apollo 1 have been integrated into modern space missions. As we prepare for future missions to Mars and beyond, Apollo 1's legacy is ever-present. We honor the bravery of those who paved the way with a commitment to excellence. The story of Apollo 1, though born from tragedy, continues to inspire and drive us forward. 